Hello, hello everyone. With this short presentation, I would like to introduce myself and the series of little videos I have prepared, which is called Getting Started on the Right Foot with Statistics. Well, this series is based on PRISM, so it's already a good start, right? I work at the Babraham Institute, which is in Cambridge in the UK. I used to be a biologist before becoming a biostatistician, and I used to hate stats and be scared of them, like most normal people. But then something happened. During my PhD, I gradually warmed up to stats, to the extent that, after I finished it, analyzing other people's data became my main occupation and quickly my job. By that time, I had realized that stats should not be scary, it should be fun and intuitive and based on common sense. When we embark in the statistical analysis of our data, to some extent, we should already know the answer to the test we are yet to run. Or rather, just looking at the data, properly plotted, we should have a pretty good idea of the kind of p-value we will get, namely the one with stars or the one without stars. Now, we should not pick a statistical test from a menu or because we have been told that's the one to go for. To choose the right test, we start by exploring our data. We use our common sense. We listen to the story they are telling us. And based on their behavior and on the question we are asking, we choose the right statistical test. To some extent, it does not matter if we know the name of the test. What really, really matters is that we know what we want the test to do. Finding the name of the test is easy. We can use a decision tree like this one, for example. But the real job is to know what we want the test to do. Now, let me tell you about the videos I have prepared so far. I will introduce them in the order matching the one we should follow when we analyze our data. I believe that perhaps the most important step in statistics is data exploration, which is why we should start with this video. We also need to be pretty solid on descriptive statistics, stuff like mean and standard deviation, because a lot of quantitative statistics use these parameters, so it is pivotal we get them right. Also, very, very important, we need to think about sample size. Our confidence on the claim we will make from our data is a lot about the amount of evidence we have, the number of mice or cells or whatever we looked at. So we need to take the time to think about the concept of power, which is pretty much about estimating the appropriate sample size. Once we are good with these, once we know we have enough data to make some inference, once we know how our data are behaving and how to describe them, we can move on to the stats. So let's say we want to know if there is a difference between two groups of values. We can go for the t-test or the one-way ANOVA if we have more than two groups. On the other hand, if we want to know if there is an association between two quantitative variables, we can go for a correlation. And if we are interested in another factor influencing that relationship, then we can consider a regression with two predictors. This video can work as an introduction to multiple regression. In that context, if we are worried about our conclusions, about the model we built, we can think about goodness of fit. Now, this video is not about producing a p-value on the relationship between a bunch of variables. This is about checking that we have done a good job with it. Very important. The tests I just mentioned belong to the parametric family, as in they work well on data which behave in a particular way, which I explain in the video on descriptive statistics. If they do not behave in a parametric way, we should probably consider non-parametric statistics. Finally, if our data are of qualitative nature, we may choose a chi-square or Fisher's exact test. Okay, so the idea is, if you are scanning through the videos and you spot, say, one way ANOVA, and think, oh, that's the one I have been told I should use, first find out by yourself if the test will indeed answer your question, and then, if it is the case, try to refrain from rushing to it, but rather follow the short path that leads to it. Thank you for listening, and remember, stats don't have to be scary, 